Hi, welcome back to Iswan Bakar Gaming. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and follow my channel. I'm a truck game player just like you, and I share a lot of tips, mods, and gameplay to help you get the most out of ETS2 and ATS. Okay, so recently, many of you have been asking me during live streams and in the comments, how do you set up lossless scaling for ETS2? Actually, it's not just for ETS2, you can use it for ATS as well. So in this video, I'm going to share my settings so you can get an idea of what works best for your gameplay. Before we dive in, here are my PC specs. I'm using a Ryzen 5 5600 RTX 3060 Ti and 32 gigabytes of RAM. A bit about lossless scaling. You can use this tool to boost your FPS up to three times depending on your PC specs and game settings. For the best gaming experience, you should cap your game's FPS to a stable level. This helps maintain a consistent frame rate. Frame rate or FPS frames per second is the number of frames displayed per second in your game. A higher and more stable FPS results in smoother gameplay. If your FPS fluctuates too much, it can cause stuttering and affect your gaming experience. That's why capping your FPS at a stable level is crucial. Let's jump into my settings for ETS2 and ATS. Here's the interface of the lossless scaling software. It looks simple, but it's incredibly powerful. You can create profiles to make it easier for you. For example, I've created a profile for ETS2. To create a profile, simply select New Profile, name it ETS2, and choose your preferred scaling option. For scaling mode, I choose auto and full screen because I like to play in full screen mode. For scaling type, I use AMD FSR. Even though I have an NVIDIA card, it works just fine. You can try other options like LS1 too. If your GPU isn't very powerful, you might want to turn on optimized version. The best part is frame generation. I use LSFG 2.1 because it has an option to increase FPS up to 3x. But remember, this also uses GPU power, so you'll need to experiment to find the best balance. For those with less powerful GPUs, turn on performance mode. The rest of the settings can follow my setup or you can tweak them to fit your needs. This is what works best for my PC and gameplay. Here's the settings. I leave the scale hotkey at default, so when you open the game, just press this hotkey to scale. Got it? Next, the in-game settings. I don't use full screen. I've tried 2K resolution full screen before and it works, but it uses a lot of GPU, especially with the brutal traffic mod. For now, I use 1080p, 400% scaling, ultra settings. The graphics look almost as good as 2K with 200% scaling. Still beautiful. Uh, I cap my in-game FPS at 35 because that's the most stable FPS I can get. You know how ETS2 can have crazy FPS drops in certain areas, especially with brutal traffic. Honestly, 30 FPS is great if you use a lot of mana, but just so you know, I've never played ETS 2 over 75 FPS. I always cap it to avoid frequent FPS drops or lag. And I turned off in-game anti-aliasing because I use Snowy Moon's anti-aliasing. You can check their website in the description. Alright, now that everything is set, we can turn on scaling using the hotkey, Control plus, Alt, 
FPS. Once you activate lossless scaling, your game will go full screen with the FPS displayed in the top left corner. Mine shows 35 game FPS, 105 after frame generation. Awesome, now you can enjoy your game. You can scale anything you want. For example, to watch YouTube, just press the same hotkey. You'll get smoother videos. That's it for this video. Many of you have asked about my settings, so I made this video to help you out. Please share this video so others can benefit too. Bye.